Hey, what's going on guys? Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a reaction and guitar tutorial for the song Shivers, the official acoustic video by Ed Sheeran. I just did an actual reaction to the produced song on my Patreon and I'm a fan of this song, but it's definitely not my, uh, my favorite Ed song of all time. I do think it's really, really catchy. It's made for radio. And last I looked, it was doing pretty good at radio too. So I listened to the produced version and I personally think Ed is like one of the kings of acoustic. I've been hearing mixed mixed reviews on his album and kind of the, the production behind it. So the one thing that I think is tried and true for Ed is just like his acoustic. Like no matter what the song is, him playing it acoustic, it's, it's almost always good. So that's what I wanted to do today with the uh, the song shivers kind of teach you guys how to play it like he is in this video and listen to it for the the first time so without wasting any more time let's jump into the song this is shivers the official acoustic video by ed sheer <laughs> Vocal sounds crisp. Okay. So okay. So far, what I can tell with this is his vocal sounds amazing. I mean, it almost sounds better than on the on the record. It almost sounds too perfect, actually. I don't know. They probably have a shotgun mic above above his head. And I wouldn't be surprised if there is some editing, but the Ed is like one of the best live performers out there. So it's hard to tell with him because he's usually so good that if there is like some pitch correction going on, it's probably very little, but it sounds like so, his vocal just sounds so like tight right now and bright. But one thing I can tell, so you'll notice that he has the capo on the first fret in this video. And the reason for that is because he's actually, his guitar is tuned down a half step. I typically tune my guitar down a half step as well. I have one over there that is a half step down, but this one is actually in normal standard tuning, which is what most people will have their, their guitar in. In order to compensate for the chords, Ed puts the capo on the first fret so that his guitar is in standard tuning, so to speak. So for somebody that's in, if your guitar is in standard tuning, you will not have to use the capo like he is here. If your guitar is in half step down tuning, you will have to put capo on the first fret. If that's what he played it, uh, what the produced version is, but in this video, it's the key of C sharp. And the, the chords that he's playing are actually all bar chords. So you have this chord up here on the, um, the sixth fret. And this is actually an A sharp. Then he goes to a, uh, an F sharp, then a C sharp. And I'm just playing bar chords here, like power chords actually. So it's just your pointer finger on the, the, sh the shape is the same. So like for the, the A sharp, you have the first finger on the sixth string and then your third and fourth on the second and third string. Same thing with the F sharp. Then when you go down to the C sharp, you just move, you move everything down one string. So you're on the, the fifth string, the third string, and the fourth string. Five, four, and then he goes to a uh, G sharp. So six, five, four. So all together, that chord progression that he's done so far for the verse is this. A sharp minor, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So those are the chords that you're gonna play. And I've watched probably half of the chorus too. And I think that's, that's actually the chord progression um, for the chorus as well. Where this gets a little difficult and where Ed really shines, I always talk about this, is in the right hand. So to me, and I think I think there's an article out there where John Mayer even said this, that Ed Sheeran is a master of the right hand. His rhythm hand is something that is not, I don't I don't think it's appreciated enough when you talk about his guitar playing and just like his skill set. He's not known for someone that's going to shred up and down the neck like a, a John Mayer, but more so for like his rhythm, his more rhythm based guitar playing and just complex strumming. And that's kind of true for this video too. So if we go back here. Lipstick on my guitar, fill up the engine with oh yeah, I want it all. What he's doing is it's, it's almost all down strums for every chord. So the strumming pattern 
that he's doing is, is gonna kind of sound something like this. So that, that's the first half, and then you go to the C sharp, uh, C sharp, and you do the same thing. That's really fast, but it's something like that. So essentially what he's doing is he's muting on the fourth beat for most of that pattern. So you'll go one, two, mute, one, two, three, four, and mute. Since he's playing power chords, your focus is really on like the first the first three strings, so the sixth, the fifth, and the fourth, with a with an emphasis on that sixth string. He's really focusing on that bass note for most of the um, the verse so far. So you go one, two, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, three, mute, and then you switch to the the F sharp, and you do the same thing. One, two, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, three, mute. Same thing on the C sharp. And then same thing on the G sharp. And then you repeat that. And that's that's actually the pattern for the entire verse so far. And really, if you're not familiar with like that muting, you can kind of tell if you zoom in on Ed's hand. I wanna he's be just, that he's barely lifting up his left hand so that you are you're muting the strings when you make that that strum. So if you watch my hand, you can see that I take the pressure off the strings. And that allows me to kind of mute it like that. Same thing on the C sharp too. So that wasn't perfect, but that's that's basically the general idea of, of kind of what he's doing here. And then I think right before he went into the chorus, he kind of just stayed on that G sharp. little longer than he, he did uh, throughout the rest of that progression. Okay, so he actually stopped earlier than he normally would. So, you know, usually you'd go. And then he goes back into the, ooh, I love the way you do it like that when you close up. You know, that type of thing for the, uh, for the chorus too. So the only thing that changes uh, in the verse is the that part there. Instead of completing that that G sharp chord, you really do like almost half of it to add some tension before going into the chorus. Down, down, mute, down, 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 mute, down, mute. So let's jump into the chorus and see if that changes at all anymore. Hey, ooh, I love it when you do it like that. And when you same thing, really. Baby, you wanna dance till the sunlight crack me like that. And when you close up, give me the shiver, and we'll bring it right back to the car. On the back yeah. seat. So the, the chorus is almost the same thing. The one thing that, again, that Ed does really well is kind of mixing up the volume and the, like, the aggressiveness of the way he plays it in that right hand just to add some contrast between sections. So the chords and everything stay the same. You still have your A sharp minor to your F sharp to your C sharp to your G sharp. But the right hand is where you're gonna pick up just a little more, um, the, the tempo doesn't really pick up, but the, the energy picks up. So what I notice is that he kind of, he kind of focuses more on that sixth string during the verse. Versus the chorus, he's kind of really playing that, that bar chord in full, so playing top three strings you know something like that I want to see what tempo he's playing this at because truthfully the biggest thing to really get this down is one that muted strumming pattern if you're not familiar with doing that that takes a lot of practice and just um, timing that is not it's not easy to get right away you just have to, to really practice it but one thing that can really help is if you bring up a metronome and just play along with the tempo that he's playing here, so let me see what he's playing it at. Between your legs and dogs, oh, I can't get enough. You know you can tear me apart. Me so about 145 beats per minute is what I would set my metronome to. So what I would do now is just go into, like, Google has a metronome. Um, and I would say, okay, set this at 145. And now I would play 
with that metronome. This is gonna really help with timing. This is, in my opinion, one of the most important things you can do when trying to get down or try and get really good at rhythm playing guitar, acoustic guitar. So. So obviously this is the first time I've played this, so I'm not, it's not perfect. Um, it would take me a couple times to practice this to really, to really get it down. And then obviously singing on top of that's a whole, whole different ball game. But um, that's the, kind of the idea. That's what I would practice. So just really get that right hand down of one, two, mute, one, two, three, four. So on the four you mute. One, two, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, three, mute, one, two, three, mute. switch. So again, that's not that's not easy. That is a really good rhythm acoustic guitar player. So doing something like that does take practice, but that's kind of um, the pattern and, and the metronome speed that I would play or practice at to try and get it uh, as close as possible to this. So second verse now, and notice how in the verses, the chords and everything are staying the same, but he's really focusing on the volume of his right hand. And also just like, mm -hmm. he's almost just playing the, the, the top string, the bass note in the, in the chord for the entire verse. You can almost play this with one finger. Except when you get to the C sharp and the G sharp, you'd have to do the bar chord. But just notice how he really emphasizes that that low note in the chord. Opening up I more now. Right. Like, yeah, you got me singing like, ooh, I love it. Same thing there before going into the chorus, just that down strum on the G sharp. So you're really just going. And slowly picking up the uh, the intensity as you do that, and then going back into the uh, the chorus. So same thing here. It's just a volume change. The chorus stay the same. Um, he, he totally skipped the going into the final chorus right there. He skipped the A sharp minor and just went straight to the F sharp. Just to kind of change it up. A sharp minor, not there. F sharp. No chord. Just strumming. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he is so good at the oh. acoustic performances. Like that to me is so much better than the the produced version. I mean, the produced version is not bad, but you know, I know that Ed is now using a band and all that, and that's that's awesome. I'm glad like he's taking that next chapter. But part of I feel like what made him so big was just like the one man band, loop pedal, him and a guitar. Like it's as simple as it gets, and he was the just a master at that. The final chorus there, you know, again, really almost the whole, the whole song is the same four chords. It's A sharp, minor, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. The intensity of the right hand is really the big thing. So in the verses, it's uh, softer in the choruses. He picks up the intensity uh, in the strumming hand. And then towards the end, you know, he skipped that A sharp minor going into that final chorus. And he did like these single shot strums here at the very end. So he's just drumming here. Yeah. So he's just doing. It's just 
the strumming pattern. And then he stops. And then does that up strum on the on the A sharp minor. So yeah, I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of Ed. I'm a fan of just anything he does acoustically. I think I saw that he did a Spotify acoustic performance and something else. Maybe it was like um, an equals album release party or something like that. So I think I'm gonna check that out. I would love to do more uh, Play It Like Him acoustic videos if he plays some of these new songs acoustically. So um, if there's any specific videos that you guys know of or that you guys want me to teach that he has done like this, please let me know in the comment section below and I will do my best to get to them. I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.